am an historian and scientist working for the Republic. Although I'm certain my contemporaries would judge me more a historian than scientist. Like you, I was looking for some trace of the Jedi. I had heard mention that one of the Jedi Masters had gone there, but I found no trace of them. The other reason was the ruins of the Jedi Enclave. And once I arrived, I felt it was necessary to stay, to protect what was left. Much had been taken from the Enclave, both by raiders and others. I wished to preserve what I could. Many artifacts were taken from the Enclave, but these thefts, they had to have been done by someone who knew the Enclave well. I suspect the Jedi themselves took the holocrons and records, but I do not know why. Someone has been taking holocrons from sites across the galaxy. It was almost as if someone does not want their knowledge used to find the Jedi. The situation on Dantooine is echoed in other places in the galaxy. Raiders, smugglers, all seek to plunder what remains of the Jedi, and even the Sith. More so than the Jedi themselves, I fear the loss of their history. Much has been forgotten in recent wars, and I fear that greater troubles shall stem from that loss of knowledge in the future. The destruction of the Academy on Osus near the Kron Drift in the Sith War. The teachings of Master Arka. The adventures of Jolie Bindo on the Rimward missions. All of these things are in danger of being lost forever. What else would you like to know? No. It is something of a mystery why they would exile themselves as they have. It is not the way of the Jedi to vanish in such a way. Especially when the Republic is in need of them. I fear that there is something else at work. Something that we cannot see. And again, perhaps the Jedi are hiding simply because so many people hate them these days. It is difficult sometimes for the Jedi to see such things, since much of it is rooted in human nature, and the Jedi are often removed from events of daily life, insulated. But the reason the Jedi Civil War was named such was because few in the galaxy can recognize the difference between the Sith and the Jedi. To them, they are both Jedi, with different philosophies. Not always. Jedi often fall. They cause much harm on Onderon, for example, in the name of peace and protection. Uleg Keldroma and Exar Kun, the two Dark Lords during the Sith War many decades ago, were once Jedi Knights, as were Revan and Malak. It is perhaps more amazing that some still trust Jedi after many have fallen and endangered the galaxy. It is also proof that a single Force wielder can change the face of the galaxy. And that is a frightening thing indeed. Hate? No. I do not hate them. They only raise questions without answers. Jedi are not supposed to be like the rest of us. They are supposed to see a higher purpose in all things. And they are supposed to train students responsibly and well, so mistakes of the past are not repeated. Yet all I saw was ignorance and arrogance in what those seeds created in the Republic. It is difficult to follow the Jedi Code when so few others have. But you know this. Many Jedi defy the Order during the Mandalorian Wars, and it paved the way for the Jedi Civil War. There is no blame. All must accept. But, at its core, one must wonder if it was the failure of the Jedi teachings or the teachers themselves. Many of the Jedi Council trained Exar Kun. Ulik, Revan, and Malak. How could they not see the danger they posed? And if they could not, perhaps there was some essential part of their teachings that was flawed. Something beyond the Jedi Code that they were missing. I am not certain you understand what happened with Revan. Do you wish me to explain? Revan was captured in the middle of the Jedi Civil War due in no small part to his apprentice, Malak, who turned on him. Revan was brought before the Jedi Council and put on trial. You must understand that the situation was desperate. 
and the Jedi needed to know how Revan had amassed the forces arrayed against them. As I understand it, they were able to convince Revan to have a change of heart, but it was only for a time. Revan helped the Republic defeat Malak. I suspect it was out of revenge. Revan had many masters. Tsar, Dorak, Master K before K left for the wars. Towards the end of his training, he sought out many to learn techniques. It is said that he returned to his first master at the end of his training in order to learn how he might best leave the Order. What else would you like to know? I do not know if you are aware of how fragile the Republic is at the moment. Its influence is stretched thin, and it grows weaker with time. The Jedi Civil War brought much suffering to the galaxy, and the forces that Malak and Revan amassed against us seemed limitless. Many worlds were destroyed, trade routes disrupted, and the Republic fleet was almost decimated. While it is said that Revan and several Republic heroes and Jedi defeated Malak, in many ways Malak had already won. The war was costly, and it shattered the Republic. In time, the Republic might recover. But if a threat strikes now, if certain key worlds are not held, then the Republic will collapse. What else would you like to know? I'm trying to save the Republic. Dantooine and the Jedi Order are instrumental to that effort. Despite the troubles of the Jedi Civil War, there are those among the Republic who still favor the Jedi and wish them to return. And there are admirals within the fleet, who recognize that the Jedi must be found if the Republic is to hold together. Yet as long as Onderon remains within the Republic, and the efforts on Tilo succeed, that is all that matters. The Republic is fragile right now. Tilos is important because its success will determine whether or not the other dead worlds receive the same reconstruction efforts. If Telos is rebuilt and made habitable again, it will affect a string of worlds along the rim. Onderon, strangely enough, was unaffected by the Jedi Civil War. It's almost as if Revan didn't want to attack it. Its resources and position on the rim make it a vital supply line and guard post against outer rim attacks. Also, it's the only world in the Republic still capable of seeding ecosystems into other dead worlds. Onderon's wildlife is some of the most aggressive in the known galaxy. Merely placing some of those beasts on target worlds will guarantee their habitation for years to come. The Jedi are a symbol. As much damage as their reputation took during the Sith War and the Jedi Civil War, there are still many who they serve as an example. Plus, there have been times in the past where a single Jedi has been enough to change the face of a world. Or a galaxy. I suppose I still believe that might be possible. Despite the betrayal of many of the Jedi against the Republic, I must concede that as figureheads, they do serve a vital role. What else would you like to know? I imagine in your travels of the galaxy you've seen many people. Faces tend to blur together after a time. What else would you like to know? Before you go, I had a question for you. You came to Dantooine in search of Jedi. Why? What answers do you seek? It has been my experience that Jedi rarely answer such questions, or instead indulge in half-truths. Exiled you? It is strange they would sentence you and not speak honestly of your crime. It is not the Jedi way to lie. Well, no, that is not true. There are times when truth is concealed if they think a greater good can be achieved. But when such things are done, it is always done with the intention that the person they withheld truth from cannot be trusted with that knowledge, that it will bring harm upon themselves and others. Perhaps there was some greater danger in you knowing the reason than in the reason itself. Strange. Mysterious are the ways of the Jedi. 
Sometimes they see things the rest of us do not. Other times, such sight brings arrogance and a fall. In any case, it seems to me like our goals are compatible. If you would have me, I can apply my knowledge and skills to helping you find the answers you seek. to serve.
Braved the perils of the sublevel, yes. Many stories and artifacts in your possession. This is fortuitous for myself and Sussex. For now, not only do I get rich salvage, but an even richer bounty. Do not be making this difficult. Your death can be quite painful. So, this is your threat? Is Terra what I'm supposed to feel? We know a thing about Jedi and their ways. And now, Jedi, we shall fight. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 